if you like DIY track saws, if you like shop organization, if you like keeping your own money and not spending thousands of dollars, and you like YouTube videos from a middle-aged white man in a grungy basement, then this is for you. I had a leftover piece of MDF from a recent project, so I decided to make a DIY track saw. Let me first say, this isn't a professional model, but it gets the job done for rough cuts and breaking lumber down. Here I am just ripping it down to rough size and then finishing up with straighter cuts on my table saw. After ripping down my pieces to exact size, I run them back again through the table saw, removing an inch and we're gonna use that as the ledge for the saw rail to ride along. Type bond original. I just run this down and put a squiggly line on. I didn't even really bother to end up smearing it around. Here I set the edge rail on and use the 23 gauge pin nailer. Now that I've got my board set up with a little clamp, we got the depth set. We're just going to run the edge of the saw right down here, and the excess is going to cut off, and that'll leave us our accurate edge. So we're back down here. We got everything cut. We have a 96. We have a 55 because fest tool. We have a 42, and we have a 30. So I'm going to use these four sizes and see how they go. Each one of them is just under six inches on the total width, and that's if you're using the, uh, the DeWalt ECS565. Good little song. I will say watching this back, I'm pretty excited on how my handwriting turned out. 30, 42, 55, and 96. So maybe you notice I've took down some of the stuff over here because I'm gonna look for a place to store these. So I have a 5 8 force through bit that I'm gonna use and just drill a few holes in all these so that I can store them up there and um, have a good spot for them. Remember, when you're using a force through bit, use a, uh, a backer plate when you're drilling through so it doesn't blow the backs out. Have a nice clean finish and use some, uh, some finished screws, put it right up on the wall, have a good storage spot for them. Keep it out. Oh, I could watch that all day. Such an idiot. Hey, if that makes you laugh as hard as it did me, throw me a like. Even if it's a sympathy like, I'd appreciate it. Note to self, hold on to your work. Now I'm bringing this out. It's a new day. We're going to set up for a little test run. So I just realized I didn't take into account the thickness for the sled. So for the three quarters, I need to add the half inch. Round two. So with lowering the depth cut, I also realized that I hit the clamp now. So we're gonna pop the little uh, shim off the clamp. We're gonna try to get maybe round three to work. I'm also gonna scoot the clamp a little close, a little farther to the edge. So it should get a little bit lower. Easy with your flaccid wood, pal. I think the DIY cross cut track sled works pretty good. I will preface this part by saying my shop isn't the greatest. It's in a basement, it's got low ceilings, and those colors are pretty terrible. But I do like it to be somewhat organized and be my little space down there. When my shop's organized and it looks cool, it makes me want to be down there. It makes me want to build new things, try different things. So as we can see, it's not 
absolutely perfect, but there's pretty good spots there. We'll see if that MDF sags at all. I guess we'll find out over due time and I will follow up and let you know what happens, but I think we made pretty good progress. What's better than we did when we started? Hey guys, I appreciate you watching me build a video of the DIY track sled. Pretty easy, and uh, I think anybody can do it. Please remember, browse the channel, like, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace. Um, I was watching. Cross cut.